In this video, I'm going to show you how to create gradient text without using any external package. We are using just Flutter widgets for creating this kind of gradient text. Let's get started. So I have a stateless widget here, which returns scaffold. And inside that we have a text widget, which is wrapped with center. So as you can see, just plain text gets displayed on the screen. So first of all, I want to create a couple of variables here. The first one being uh, gradient. So I want to create a gradient variable and I want to use linear gradient for our uh, gradient effect. Okay, this one, we need to pass some colors. So the first one will be colors of, let's say, uh, blue accent. I want to use blue accent. And for the second one, I want to copy, paste it and change the values. So the second one will be, uh, let's say, red accent. Okay. And the third one, let's give, set this to amber. So just amber. All right. Now uh, I want to create another variable that is actually text style. Mm, I want to use this text style for our text widget. So we can say text style and this text style uh, needs first font size. Let's make our font size really big, like 50. And let's give it font weight. So the font weight will be, okay, just font weight of bold. I think bold should be good. So the next one will be shadow. I want to give some shadows so that the text, look, text looks like it's popped up a little bit uh, from, from background, okay? So box shadows takes list and we can pass box shadows to this uh, property. So the, I, I just want to pass one box shadow and that will be just box shadow with a color and the color will be, so I want to use white because our background is black and let's give this spread radius, probably five. And then let's give this offset. So the offset will be uh, offset. So horizontally, we want to give one and vertically, let's say just one. Okay. So now, uh, if I save it, nothing changes because we did not apply it yet. So here I want to come down here inside of a text widget. First of all, I want to apply text style. So for that, I use style and I will just assign our text style to this one. Okay, this text style coming from about just from the one we created um, earlier. So now uh, if I save it, as you can see, our text is big and it has a little bit of shadow if you can notice it. So now I want to wrap my text widget with a widget that actually enables us to create that gradient effect. So I will wrap it with widget. So this widget is shader mask. So this shader mask has some properties. You can actually create really good, some advanced graphical effects with the widgets you want. Okay. In this case, uh, we want to apply that kind of effect to our text widget. So first of all, we need to pass this shader mask call, uh, callback function. That callback function is uh, shader callback, and this will give us bounds. So we need to return a shader to this property. So for it, I can return our gradient. So basically I'm not going to return our gradient, but I want to create shader from this gradient we created earlier. Okay. This is the variable we created up here. So gradient and we can call create shader uh, method of this. This method takes rect. So let's give it rect. Mm, we want to use rect dot from uh, left, right with height. Okay. This uh, first of all, left will be zero, top will be zero, and width for width and height, we want to use the values coming from this bounds. Okay, this is actually bounds that is specific to our widget. So, with with the help of this value, we can actually uh, give bounds to our gradient effect. So it will be applied to only the specific pixels. So first of all, for this bounds will width. So we are going to use uh, width, of, width property of it and height, okay? Now, uh, if I save it, now you can see uh, our gradient changed to this one. 
So let's try to change begin and end of this linear gradient. So for that, uh, I want to use begin property of linear gradient. And for it, we need to pass alignment. So alignment, uh, let's set it to probably top center. Okay. And then the next one will be end. So the end will be alignment dot, uh, let's say center left. Okay. Now, as you can see, our text changed. So you can actually yeah, play with these properties, uh, the properties of linear gradient as well, and also the properties of this shader mask. So with this, you can, you can do a lot of cool things, okay? This is just one simple gradient text. So this is it, guys. If you really liked the video, uh, you can press that like button. And if you want more content like this, you can subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.